So today I'm going to be reacting to this gotcha scary movie and it's called The Spirit from the Ouija Board. This story is by Ocean Sapphire so I will have the original in the description down below. Happy Halloween now let's go ahead and check it out. Mommy, I can't sleep. Do you want mommy to sing your favorite song? Yes please. Ring around the rosy, pockets full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Ooh. <laughs> Boo! Ah! <laughs> Ellie, what the heck? I'm sorry, I just had to. You're lucky that you're my bestie. Anyway, do you have any plans after school? Oh, but it is a Friday. We should totally do something. Yeah! Wait, where are the others? I don't know, they're probably late as always. But luckily we're friends or else you'll be lonely for the entire morning. Wait, I have an idea. What if me, you, Hazel, Mariana, and Julia come to my house for a sleepover? Oh my gosh, we should totally do that. And we're going after school. Hey guys! Hey Mariana! And you're late like always. Just because you guys arrive early doesn't mean I'm late. Whatever, dude. I'm a dudette, thank you very much. Uh, well then. What's up? <laughs> you scared the heck out of me. See, this is how I felt. <laughs> Sorry. I'm only forgiving you because you're my friend. Anyway, Cynthia and I have something planned for you all. Ooh, what is it? Well, we're planning to have a sleepover after school. Oh my gosh, that sounds so much fun. Why wouldn't I come? Great, then it's settled. So we're going to Cynthia's house at... Actually, I don't want to go. You guys can go without me. Are you really gonna skip every sleepover we have? I'm just not used to being away from home. Girl, you're 15 and you're not used to being away from home? We need to take you out more. All right, you're starting to sound like my parents. Plus, my dad would never let me. That's why you need to ask him. Well, you know he's gonna say no. We'll see about that. Oh, my phone. Now I'm gonna ask your dad. He said yes. All right, fine, I'll go. Yes, finally. All right, give me my phone back. Fine, here you go. So what time do we have to come to your house, Cynthia? 4 p.m. after school would be fine. Great. We already know tonight's going to be juicy. Uh-huh. Ah, the stupid bill! Well, I'll see you all after school. And then we will have some actual fun. Well, see you later. Hello, my name is Cynthia. As you can see, Hazel, Allie, Mariana, and Julia are my best friends. We've been friends since second grade. Since then, we've never been apart. Let's continue the story. When are they gonna come? It's like 401. All right, I'm getting bored. <gasps> that must be Allie. She's always the one who arrives first. <laughs> hey, Allie. I'm not Allie, but hi. What? But Allie always comes first. Looks like I took her place. Allie is not gonna be happy about this. Come have a seat. Hey, Synth. Uh, 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 yes, I'm first like always. Um, well, actually... Oh! Oh, hey, Allie. Told you someone was gonna be here before you. Shut up, you jinxed me! Well, now we have to wait for Julia. We already know that girl is gonna take forever! Well, she's probably not gonna come. Why you? Hey, how about we play Truth or Dare? <laughs> sure. All right, everyone, sit down. Mariana, Truth or Dare? Truth? Is it true that you have a crush? Oh, heck no. Synth, Truth or Dare? Dare. I dare you too. Hey, guys. Julia, you came. What took you so long? Well, when I was on my way to Cynthia's house, I found a board game shop nearby. And I kind of got distracted by all the board games in the store. So I brought a board game for us to play. Oh my gosh, what board game is it? It's the Ouija board. Uh, wait, the Ouija board? Yeah. But aren't those things cursed? Oh, please. You have to stop believing the rumors. Nothing's gonna happen to us. 
Are you kidding? What if some demon comes and possesses us? Oh, please. Demons aren't the only spirits that summon from Ouija boards. What if we summon an angel? Oh my gosh, yes! Imagine talking to an angel. That would be the coolest thing ever. See, it won't be so bad. I'm definitely playing. Who's in? Uh, yeah, count me out. Same. Me too. Wow, you guys are such party poopers. Please, it's gonna be so boring with only two players. It's not like we're gonna get this house haunted. We're gonna summon the spirit and make it leave the house. You never know until you try. All right, I'll join. Yay! What about you guys? Um... Okay, fine, I'll play! Great! Mariana, are you in? <gasps> fine! Yay! Alright, let's play at midnight! Why midnight? Because the spirits will be more active at that time. Let me just leave this here. Alright, let's go and do something. <laughs> at midnight? Alright, everyone, it's midnight! <laughs> I'm so excited! Are you sure about this? Duh! I promise nothing's going to happen to us! Wait, don't we need candles for this? Yeah, we do. I'll go get the candles then. The candles are in the bathroom. Done! Everyone, sit down. So, who here knows a lot about spirits and paranormal things? Oh, I do. Let me go over the rules. Rule number one is to never play alone. Well, we're all together right now, so we're good. Rule number two is to never take your hand off the planchette. And when the spirit comes, we must be respectful. Don't joke or laugh. Spirits don't like being treated as a joke. And if you don't take them seriously, the spirit will get angry and might want to kill you. Well, I guess we should start getting serious. Maybe we shouldn't play this. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, everyone, put your finger on the planchette, I guess. Are there any spirits that would like to communicate with us? If so, go to yes. Oh my gosh, it actually moved to yes! Wait, did any of you move it? I didn't move it at all. Same! I guess we summoned the spirits. Now we have to ask it questions. Hazel, you ask the first question. Okay. Are you a boy or a girl? G-I-R-L! Okay, so she's a girl. What's your name? Her name is Annalisa. Are you a good spirit? Oh no! What's the matter? If the planchette moves to the sun, then it's a good spirit. But if it moves to the moon, it's a bad spirit. And it's going to the moon! <gasps> oh no! Ah! The spirit is bad! The spirit is bad! You're probably annoyed the spirit! Uh, guys, is it just me? Or did I feel something whoosh through us? I definitely felt it. It was probably the ghost. Was it just me? Or did the door behind us close by itself? Annalisa, was that you? Yes! <gasps> Knew it! What do you want? J U L I A Julia! I think that spells out Julia! But what do I even do? You probably annoyed the spirit with your scream! What are you gonna do to me? S S E! Oh no, she's gonna possess her! That spells out possess! You want to possess me? Uh, I think that's a yes! I'm pretty sure that's a yes! <laughs> Guys, we should stop playing. <gasps> oh no! She's getting possessed! Julia, are you alright? Uh oh. Wait, you're not supposed to remove your finger! You just broke a very important rule, Julia. Julia, hurry up, say goodbye! <gasps> She's leaving! Guys, hurry up and say goodbye before we anger the spirits. Done! Now, let's go find Julia! <gasps> Julia, thank goodness we found you! Why do you walk away while we were playing the game? No, the number two rule is to never lift your finger off the planchette. Julia? Cynthia, get away from her. She's possessed. Look how red her eyes are. Julia, come on. Phew. Julia? Why am I in the bathroom? Do you remember walking in here at all? Well, no. But I remember us playing the Ouija board. After we asked a question, I blanked out or something. Your eyes rolled all the way back, too. You probably got possessed. And the spirit is probably still on the run. I'm sorry, guys. This is all my fault. I guess it's also my fault since I agreed to play. Well, what do we do? There is a bad spirit after us now. It could honestly be anywhere by now. Look, if you're still here, can you please give us a sign? <gasps> the mirror broke! Ah! 
<gasps> An hour later? Phew! <sighs> Where are we? It looks like we're in a forest. Guys, I think we're pretty much lost. We were probably running so fast that we didn't know where we were going. Where do we stay for the night? We should probably keep walking until we find something. Now we know never touch those cursed Ouija boards. Again, I'm sorry. Don't put all the blame on yourself. It was also our fault for agreeing to play. Enough chit chat. Let's start moving. Tents? People probably camped here. I'm sure no one's here anymore. So what if we stay here for the night? Are you sure? I'm sorry, Hazel, but we're sleeping in the tents. We've got no other choice. Unless you want to sleep outside in the cold night, then fine. All right, fine. All right, so Julia, you share a tent with me and- Wait, no! Julia should share a tent with Mariana. Why? Because Mariana has those cross earrings. You're a Christian, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, then that must be why the demon left Julia's body when Mariana was shaking her. Because of those earrings. Wait, so that means Julia will be safer when Mariana's around. Oh, wow, I never thought of that. But why Julia? Because the spirit it hates Julia the most. Oh, right. Hazel, is it okay if we share a tent? Mm-hmm. I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. Good night. We should go in. <laughs> Mariana, what are you doing here? She found us. She was standing right next to us. We need to get out of here fast. Phew. Well, I have no idea where we are now. We should probably... Uh, uh, Julia, are you okay? I, I don't feel good. Julia, where does it hurt? I don't know. It just hurts. Come on, you can't give up now. Ah! Uh, where am I? Uh, Annalisa! <laughs> what did you do and what do you want from me? Julia, please, you're scaring us. I'm sorry I forced you to come to the sleepover. I'm sorry, just please. Get off me, you idiot. What is wrong with you? <sighs> what was that all about? Maybe she got possessed again. I mean, she was acting weird. Wait, we should follow her before we lose her. Goodness, I'm so stupid. Sent behind you. Huh? Whoa. Hello, I'm an angel. She's so cute. May I ask what your name is? I'm Annabelle. And I'm five years old. Why are you here? I'm here because of my sister. Who is your sister? Annalisa. I heard that she's after you guys, so I came to help. Wait, your sister's with the demon? Yeah. But she wasn't always like this. Let me explain. Annalisa was once a sweet and young child. She's my twin sister, and we were very close. We were pretty much inseparable. We had two teenage siblings who hated us. They would pick on us every day, no matter how much they made fun of us. We always had each other. One day, our siblings hated us so much, we died that day. Jim and Beatrice went to jail. After I died, I became an angel in heaven. But Annalisa wasn't taking it very well. She grew hate for teenagers and became a bad spirit who seeks revenge. She would get revenge to those who hurt her. She haunts teens. Today, she is known as one of the most powerful evil spirits. And we became enemies after that. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not your fault. Wait, Julia! Our friend Julia got possessed by Annalisa. Do you know how to get her back? Yes, I do know how to get her back. But this task is very dangerous. First, you need this map. It's a map of this forest? I'm sorry to say that you just entered a forest of bad spirits. What? You're telling me that this isn't a normal forest with wild animals? But how can this be? It seems like it was a coincidence that we got here. H how can we get out of here? Well, take a look at the map. So three feathers are in this forest. You need them to get out of this forest. Once you find all three, you can create a portal that will take you back to where you came from. Put those three feathers all together and you'll create a sword. Once you get the sword, slice open the air to create a portal. Then you can go home. But how can we free our friend Julia from Annalisa's possession? Julia... Well, from what I know, Annalisa is taking Julia's body to the underworld. And she's planning to keep her there for all eternity. Oh my gosh, how do we get her back? So the map located the three feathers. 
The map will navigate you to Julia after you create the sword. Once you find Julia, stab her with the sword. It may sound too much, but it's the only way to free her from possession. That's the only way to free her? Mariana has cross earrings, so Julia can for sure be freed when she gets touched by her. I'm sorry, but this is the forest of bad spirits, which means that you can only use them to defend yourself. You can't free people from being possessed with earrings. Anyways, that's all you need to know. I have to return to heaven now. You can't come with us. Unfortunately, I can't because I'm an angel and I can't be seen here. Thanks, Annabelle. We get everything now. Happy to help. Cynthia, where's the first feather located? Hmm, we have to go this way. Okay, let's go. Saving me, Hazel. Anything for a friend. Oh no, what could have happened to me? Don't think about that. A at least you're still alive. Yeah, you're right. <gasps> is that? Guys, I think I found a feather over there. Oh my gosh, that is a feather. Now all we need to do is hop over the hole and get the feather. All right, seems easy. Oh look, there's the feather. Go get it, Tint. No, it's not safer to go alone. It's best if we go with her. Spirits won't harm us as much if we're together. But it's only like for a few seconds. Well, she's not a baby. She's old enough to go by herself. It's okay, Hazel. Ellie's right. I can go by myself. Are you sure? Yeah. As Ellie said, it's only for a few seconds. I promise nothing's going to happen to me. Good luck. Guys, I... What? Ah! Run! Ah! Ah! Ellie! Leave her alone! Why did he just disappear like that? Well, I saw your earrings glow, so it must have scared him away. Also, thank you for saving me. If you didn't help, I'd probably be gone by now. Anytime. Oh my gosh, Allie, are you okay? Your face is all wounded. Really, I'm okay. You don't need to worry about me. Synth, where is the second feather located at? Let me see. We have to go to the center of this forest. I guess we should start going then. That's what we did. We went to find the other feathers. And eventually, we found all three. Because of Mariana's cross earrings, the spirits wouldn't dare to harm us. But finding the feathers weren't that difficult. The difficult part was freeing Julia from possession. Look, there's the last feather. If we get it, the map will navigate us to Julia and we can free her. I'll go get it. Guys, I got it. That's amazing! Wait, what do we do now? Do we wait for the sword to appear or something? I guess we wait for a while then. Nothing is happening! Ugh, what do we do? Hey, I have an idea! What if we put all three feathers together and let's see what happens? That's not a bad idea after all. Let's try it then! Got it! Alright, let's put them together. I'll watch! Oh my gosh! We created the sword! Now we can find Julia and... D did the map just splash? It's navigating to Julia! It says she's over there! Well, let's go! Ah yes, the gate to the underworld! <laughs> I'm not going in there! <gasps> Don't worry, I got her synth! What are you doing to me? gonna stab you and trap you behind that gate forever. You can't do that. Cynthia, stab her already. I got her. But, but Julia's my best friend. I can't kill her. For the love of sake, that's not Julia. Cynthia, I'm your best friend, remember? You can't kill me. We've been through so much together. And do you want to end all that? Cynthia, stab her now. Bestie. Uh, I can't do this. Cynthia, you know she's only trying to act like Julia to trick you. Just one simple stab. Ah! <gasps> uh, uh. Julia, no! Don't leave us. Please don't do this. Look, the spirit is now trapped behind that gate. She can't harm us anymore. Julia, please wake up. Let's just go back home. Ah! Let's go in. Wait, are we? We're back at Cynthia's house. My face doesn't hurt anymore. You don't have any bruises anymore. Oh my gosh, Julia! 
<laughs> what happened? Am I still possessed? No, you're not. Your eyes are back to normal, which means you're free. Oh my goodness, really? I finally get to see the light. Oh, and thank you all for freeing me from possession. It's no problem. We're your friends, remember? Group hug. Oh my goodness, that was super epic. So that was the spirit from the Ouija board, a gotcha life horror movie by Ocean Sapphire. I will have the original in the description down below. Definitely don't play Ouija boards. I don't know. I don't I don't believe in that stuff. I'm very scared about it. But if you guys have played that, let me know if you've had any kind of like paranormal experiences. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Kamei Mermaid or Merman. Happy Halloween. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.